Hey my Virgos, welcome back to my channel. It's the Nutcase Case for Nicole and I'm back again, honey booze, with the shenanigans here on the Nutcase Network. Virgo, this is your mid-February reading. Okay, remember the messages are general. They may not be for every Virgo out there, so be sure to go what you know. And remember time is fluid, it moves like water. Could be past, present, or future energy. Virgo, we're going to be doing past, present, and future. The past is the beginning of the month to the present moment. Present is the present moment. And the future is either the present moment to the end of the month or from whenever you watch this video to the end of the month. That is the near future energy. So I hope you guys enjoy this reading. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. I greatly appreciate all of you guys' love and support. And this has been very efficient in under a minute. Thank you. I appreciate you, Virgo. You brought some stability, okay? Let's see what the fuck is going on with my Virgos. What's been going on with y'all? Mm. I feel a level of stability and strength from you guys' energy. I feel a little bourgeois energy. I feel like you're feeling yourself, Virgo, okay? Mm-hmm. You doing like this? Okay. Mm, you know what I'm saying? That's how you shuffling the cards. You know, I think I'm moving the camera, but I don't know. <laughs> so, Guardian Angels, what is going to be my Virgo's energy for the remainder of the month? From now until the end of February 2021. Oh, no, that's too many cards. Oh, Lord. Y'all got like five cards to come out. Guardian Angels, what is my Virgo's energy from now until the end of February 2021? 20, there we go. Oh, so that's why you're feeling bougie, bitch. That's why you're feeling bougie, motherfucker. Because you're walking away. You're walking away from somebody. Mm. Number 27. Number 47. The thinking woman is at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. So, Virgo, I feel like someone came to enlighten you about your gifts, about your talents, to make you see things from a different perspective that allows you to walk away from a situation. Or I feel like spiritually, you're walking away from a situation that I feel like caused you a lot of mental disarray. But you're looking back, though. You don't want to walk away. But I feel like with that thinking woman card, it's like you feel like you have to be wise. Seven plus four is 11. You need balance. Okay? Mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Seven plus two is nine. It's time to end the situation. Virgo, are you breaking up with somebody? Hmm. Are you realizing who you truly are? That you a beast? What is going on? Okay, let me turn. Let me get my shit together. Man. I guess I guess people tried your patience one too many times, Virgo. Oh, yes, look, the wheel of fortune. Moving on. I heard rolling, rolling. Rolling on the river. Get up. Do, 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 I know y'all ain't got no dress with no, with no frillies on it. What them things called? I call them frillies. Um, they're not sequins. What is, I know what it is, y'all. Don't be trying to play me. I know what it is. It's, it's not sequins, but like tassels. Okay. All right. Okay, so Guardian Angels, what is the beginning of February like for my Virgos? What was the beginning of the month like for my Virgos? Or what was the recent past like for my Virgos? Ooh, the Emperor. Okay, so you, you just started taking control of your life. You weren't playing no motherfucking games. You was taking control. You could have been dealing with an Aries. Eight of Swords. Yeah, taking control of the anxiety, the paranoia, the stress, page of cups, okay? Making new friends, building new bonds, making new relationships. 
ignoring somebody. So I feel like the beginning of this month, maybe you were definitely trying to control a situation by ignoring someone here. Someone who could have been, you know, maybe someone who's a little younger than you. Someone who was trying to tell you how they felt, but they were being very immature with their emotions. I feel like someone who was a little childish. Okay, someone who's hiding what's behind their back. Someone who's hiding what they really have planned. Because I never noticed this bitch hand is behind her back. I mean, I feel like someone definitely could have come to you to apologize. I feel like some, I, I feel like a situation had you feeling very anxious, very bound, very trapped, be, just in a in a position where you felt like you didn't have anywhere to turn. And it's like you were trying to ignore this person. I feel like maybe you gave this person a silent treatment. You were sending them subliminal messages through your mind, but you refused to talk to this person. I feel like they definitely could have tried to apologize to you, but I just feel like you ignored them. And, and I feel like they were very immature about it, and that's why you ignored them. Because it's like they threw a rock and then hid their hand. I just got that saying, like, throw a rock and hide your hand. So it's like they threw a rock at you, but then they tried to blame you. Like, no, you the one who think, who's seeing shit or thinking shit that ain't really there. But really, they threw a rock at you. And I feel like you're very anxious about maybe meeting somebody new, finding new love here with the Ace of Cups at the bottom. But I feel like you, your intuition is telling you that it's time for something new or time for someone new. Or that's how you were feeling at the beginning of this month. It's time for you to focus on yourself. To liberate yourself. That's what I just heard. To liberate yourself. Or you you began to feel more liberated. Maybe because you met somebody new at the beginning of this month. What's the Eight of Swords? Oh Lord. The King of Cups reverse. Okay. So someone. Mm, okay. So. 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 Okay. What's the King of Cups in reverse? Because I just need to make sure. Yes, I knew it. The Eight of Wands and the Four of Swords. I knew it was the Eight of Wands. Yeah, so, Virgo, let me tell you what happened at the beginning of this month. I feel like y'all took control of a situation. You took control of a situation that you felt like you had no control over. I feel like where you were very rarely expressing your feelings, all of a sudden, oh my God. Open the floodgates of heaven. What did he say? Let it rain let it rain Ooh. so for okay let me let me just let you know you were feeling trapped to a situation but you brought control into it at the beginning of this month because you kept acting as if everything is fine in the past you kept holding your emotions in you kept acting like no it's not that bad person who's dealing with a Virgo it's not that bad what you're doing it's okay I feel like you were really being very quiet I feel like you were acting as if you weren't hurt but you were you were concealing your emotions just being very airy like an air sign you probably got air in your chart maybe Libra Gemini, maybe maybe Aquarius, but I feel like Libra. Um, I feel like Libra, for real, is in your chart. But you were acting as if everything is fine. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm just be stone cold Steve Austin and not express my feelings and, you know, just run up the steps of the Lincoln Memorial like Rocky, like everything is okay. But really, I'm old and exhausted. Like... I'm not saying you're old. I'm saying like Rocky got real old in the movies. He acted like he wasn't tired. You was acting like you wasn't tired of this person. And then all of a sudden, oh my God, open up the floodgates. I feel like in the beginning of, the, of February, where you were acting as if everything was fine in the past, Virgo, you just began to just explode with emotions with feelings, I feel like you were being a little bit irrational emotionally because you were feeling backed into a corner. 
with the Eight of Swords and the King of Cups in reverse, I feel like someone backed you into a corner and it made you explode where you were being quiet before Four of Swords because I asked what's the King of Cups in reverse because I wanted to make sure. I knew what I knew it was this. A time when you were being quiet, all of a sudden you spoke up. A time where you weren't talking to somebody or you were trying to like maybe take a break from a situation, give it a chance. You just decided that you was ready to move on and walk away. So I don't know if it was the retrograde. I don't know if it's the fact that we're in Aquarius right now or season or all these planets in Aquarius. But you was exhibiting this air energy like a motherfucker. And you pretty much told this person, look, I'm sick of your shit. I can't take it no more. I've been holding in all these feelings. And I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been holding back. I ain't, I haven't told you what you really do to me on the inside, but what you really do is piss me the fuck off. Like that's what you did, I feel like. <laughs> and here come this little baby person over here, like, oh, Virgo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did that to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you feel that way about my actions. Ain't that some bullshit? I hate when people apologize by saying, I'm sorry that you feel that way. No. No. This person was being very dismissive of your feelings and you opened up the floodgates of vengeance on them. Okay? They didn't get heaven from you, Virgo. They got vengeance and anger. And fast-moving communication. <laughs> I feel like you went from not saying anything at all to saying everything under the sun. Because you've been acting like everything is fine for so long. But yeah, you you were. I feel like you were trying to hold it together. You were trying to save face. You were trying to be regal, attractive. Okay, like you were trying to do the attractive thing. <laughs> no. Then you got angry. Then you got real angry. What else is the King of Cups in reverse? Ooh, Page of Swords. Yeah, because you thought about it. You thought about how this person was really making you feel. What's the Four of Swords? You're exhausted. I feel like you became exhausted. Ooh, another Four. Four of Pentacles. So I feel like you came exa became exhausted with holding back your um, feelings. I feel like the thoughts in your head began to bubble over and you exploded on somebody at the beginning of this month because you felt trapped for so long. What's the eight of wands? Oh, 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 chariot. Yeah, and I feel like you definitely broke up with someone. What is the page of swords? See, if this is everything, is oh, ten of swords, yeah. I really feel like you got tired of holding back how painful this relationship has been towards this person i feel like you got tired of holding back the emotions that you felt inside how backstabbed you felt by their actions i feel like you really reflected on this i really feel like you tried not to be irrational but when you began to get into your emotions i feel like you rehearsed this and rehearsed it but when you began to get in your emotions you couldn't help but to blow up because because Holding back or keeping quiet for so long about how you truly felt has made you resent them with this five of swords. Yeah, you resent what little they're bringing to the table with this page of pentacles. I feel like you resent how they apologize to you. You resent the fact that they didn't take you seriously or really care about your feelings here. And I feel like now it's like you're very defensive against whatever little this person is offering. There's a bunch of page out here. What's the chariot? And then I feel like you moved on and broke up with this person or you put an end to... The, yeah. See? Didn't I say it? You put an end to that connection. You made a major change. And I also feel like that helped you to release this pain. Um, opening up and speaking up allowed you to release the pain, resentment, hostility, forbearance that you had towards this person. Forbearance is a student long term, right? The fact that you gave this person a break for so long, yeah. Oh my God, and now they're begging, oh Virgo. Virgo, I need you in my life, Virgo. Virgo, don't leave me. Don't do me like this. What's the present moment for my Virgo? What's going on? Six of swords, walking up. God damn, how many cards of walking away do you have? You got one up here that says walking away. Six of Swords, which is 
moving on. The Eight of Wands, which is communication, but also movement, like moving on. Chariot moving the tower. Wow. You really, when you broke it off, you broke it off. And you was like, I need somebody new in my motherfucking life. I'm trying, I need somebody who's not going to make me do all the work. I need somebody who can release this burden from my life. You're, I feel like you're putting an end to trying to reconcile with this person. I feel like you've been reconciling with this person for like a year. You no longer want them. What's the six of swords? You, oh, yes. You are no longer defending this situation. Some of the wands reverse. You have no more energy to give to this. Oh, seven of swords, two sevens. You have no more energy to give to this. You are no longer even perpetrating like you're trying. You ain't even faking like you're trying, Virgo. Oh, my God. Because you, I feel like because you feel that this person did not protect you, they did not defend you, they probably lied to you in some way, deceived you. And I feel like you wised up with this thinking woman card. And I also feel like you also, okay, door to spirit is right up under that. Damn. So, ooh, with financial constraints right under that. Let me stop. So, I feel like you realize through um, your intuition, through spirit, through spirituality, that this person was probably just, the, the fact that this person was in your life, the fact that you haven't walked away was like blocking your money, blocking your blessings. They weren't sticking up for you. They were lying to you, deceiving you. So I feel like you definitely stopped giving into this situation. You could have definitely begun to ignore this person after you said how you feel. Yeah, and it made you happy to basically rid yourself of the thoughts, to ignore the thoughts or to ignore any feelings that you had for this person. It doesn't matter to you now because they didn't have your back. What's the seven of wands in reverse? What's the seven of wands in reverse? Knight of swords. Okay, yeah. Okay, what's the knight of swords? Six of pentacles. Yeah, I just really feel like you didn't you I Virgo, I feel like currently you're you're very angry about this person and I feel like how much you've given to this situation with the six of pentacles and this knight of swords. I feel like you're frustrated. I don't even think you're really angry. I feel like you're more so frustrated with yourself about how much you gave to this situation and did not give back how much this person begged you for shit that they did not deserve and you might have gave it to them. I feel like you're also frustrated with the lack of balance that this person brought to your life and you're upset with the imbalance that you not feel that you now feel feeling upside down in your life. Because this person's ways, I feel like you're also trying to, um, you could be speaking to another Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, expressing your anger. I feel like you could be talking to your friends, okay, about how this ended with you guys with the world card. Wow, ten of cups in the world. Yeah, because you were looking for your happiness. You were looking for equal give and take. What's the seven of swords? Ooh, Lord, the five of wands. Jesus. Yeah, and you don't care what kind of conflict it causes in this person's life. What's the five of wands? Because I feel like, yeah, you, yeah, because it's been too much confusion. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. I really feel like, Virgo, you really don't care how much conflict that you walking away causes in someone's life you're fed up i feel like you've already given a lot i feel like you really try to look at this situation from a different perspective i really feel like you tried to heal I, I i really feel like you fought hard to heal this to get this person to realize your true strengths um but they basically just abandoned you here and there was no balance there was no equal give and take there was no um equal reciprocity in this situation and i really just feel like all you know whatever fights or arguments that you guys disagreements you guys may have had i feel like you really don't care if it inconveniences this person's life you don't care if they feel stripped because she's naked that's stripped right strippers get naked so i don't know where the fuck that came from but i don't know 
Um, but basically, you don't care if they're stripped. You don't care if they have to start over. You don't care if they're stuck or in a bad predicament without you. Because it's like now you it's like you just have to walk away. You can't devote any more energy. You can't you can no longer help this person. I feel like you know that they may lose money or you know that they may not be as well off, may not be able to um, stomach this or handle this. But I feel like you really are in a position where you need help as well. You're asking for guidance as well. You're praying about this as well. And I feel like your guides, God, whoever you believe in, the universe has given you a blessing here. They've ignited your passion, okay, to, I feel, move you away from this person. They've opened up doors in your life or given you a new opportunity in your career or your schooling or your creativity to be able to, oh, yes, Lord, to be, I was about to say, to be able to walk away from this person and look at this. Oh, my God. Virgo, I feel like you have been divinely blessed and guided. What's the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, Justice. Could be a Libra. And, and it's kind of like that's Justice too. Wow. I, I just feel like you're just kind of rehashing shit and you're very upset about the time that you invested. You feel like you weren't fairly treated. I feel like you're not angry because Virgos never really get angry because you understand this person's side. But I feel like when you do get angry, you be angry. Or when you done, you done. It's like you are done, Virgo. Because you know you gave everything you got. You know you did the right thing. You know you tried to create balance here. And you don't care how it affects this person at this point. They're like, oh, Virgo, how could you change this this way? Or how could you do me this way? And just leave me out here to, in the cold to fend for myself. And you're like, well, you didn't want to see it from my perspective. So you got to figure out how to do it on your own. What's the Knight of Swords? Yeah, the Ace of Swords I just saw. You realize the truth about how much you was given to this and about how unfair it was. What's the Knight of Swords? Yeah, two of swords. I also feel like this person acted as, as if they couldn't choose you or acted as if they couldn't commit or as if they didn't know how they felt about you. And that made you angry because you gave so much and you know how much you gave. And you feel like the indecision that they showed you was so unfair and you just had to cut it out your life, Virgo. I mean, your reading is going to be short as fuck. And you made that decision. Yes, Lord Jesus. So what's the end of February looking like for my Virgos? Ooh, and I feel like y'all about to get some money. My hand itching. Mm. Knight of Cups. Mm, what's this Knight of Cups? Okay. So Virgo, I see towards the end of this month, you could be going out on a date with somebody new. You could be being finessed. Or you finessing somebody else. But I feel like you get you coming in contact with a new person. See, this is the Knight of Cups. This old person was the Page of Cups. That's how I saw them. And they were keeping you in this immature energy when really you're an emperor. And that's why you took charge. You stepped into your emperor mode, Virgo. And you took charge of your life. And I feel like you realized how childish or 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 immature this person was. And I feel like you realized how much this person was keeping you held back. And I feel like you maybe are meeting somebody new who's more on your level. Or, or at least somebody who's giving you genuine interest or romancing you, making you feel good. You definitely could be going on a date for Valentine's Day. feel like you could have met this person online with the hermit at the back and the two of wands. Usually there's a world in the two of wands hands, but she got the phone. So, and then it's a laptop. So I feel like you could have met this person on the World Wide web online, www. Hopefully it wasn't on Tinder. Cause I swear to God, no Tinder, please don't do Tinder. Ugh. And if you do per purchase the advanced package, <laughs> I'm just saying. What's the Knight of Cups? So at the end of the month, I feel like you're going on a date or you're meeting somebody new, somebody who ignites your passions. Okay. What's the Knight of Cups? Ooh, shit. Six of Cups. See, 
Now, I feel like it could be this person coming back, trying to come with a better apology. I feel like that's definitely happening as well. I feel like maybe you pulled out your little Rolodex, okay? Sent a few emails to a few of your past people before this person, and you was like, what's up? <laughs> I ain't mad at ya. Do, 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 do. I ain't mad at ya. See? I ain't mad at you. And then the six of wands at the bottom. Somebody who you had a good relationship with in the past. Oh, wow. The ace of swords at the back. So, yeah, I feel like you opened up communication again. Or I feel like you started talking to someone who you... I feel like you started talking again to someone from your past who you had a successful relationship with, who you feel like told you the truth. What's the six of cups? Maybe not even a relationship, okay? But you're not sure about them either. Feel like you're not sure where it's going to go. I feel like also your past person is trying to come back with a harder apology, but you're like, no, they're still keeping secrets. What's the moon? Yeah. Don't go back to the past, Virgo. I just feel like... I feel like they're on inconsistent shit. That ball hey hell shit. I feel like they're not really owning up to it as well i feel like they're trying to be mysterious about what they did they're not trying to come clean and you're like nope nope i'm tired of your shit no not today cletus get the fuck out of my face like that's what y'all got going on yeah because i love you but i'm tired of your fucking shit mm. what's the six of cups what else is the six of cups Ooh, the Hierophant. So this could have been somebody you were actually married to. Ex-husband. Or you could be going out with your ex-husband. Talking to them. Maybe just, you know, conversating and, you know, laughing it up with them. Reminiscing on the past and the times that y'all been through. What's the Hierophant? Three of Pentacles. Oh my God, nine of cups. Virgo, if you go back to this person and try to work on it, I swear to God, they're not going to take you seriously, bro. What else is the moon card? Because they're still hiding the fact that they on ball head hoe shit. Ooh, and just unreliable. Page of Wands reversed. So they're trying to come back as a knight, but now they're even worse. They're keeping more secrets. I feel like they're coming back telling you, oh, Virgo, like, we've been through so much in the past. We, you know, we was married. We were happy at a point. And it's like, I want to work on this now with you because cause you make me happy. You make me happy. Why is this page of wands in reverse? You're everything I need. I want this relationship. Ooh, I saw the four of wands. Hmm. Ace of Wands. But maybe you're going to tell this person you met somebody new because we saw this at the back of the deck. I hope y'all tell this motherfucker that y'all met somebody new. But I really feel like they're coming back to apologize to you to tell you I want to work on it. What's the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups? Yeah, but you're guarded. Good. I feel like you're protecting yourself, Virgo. I'm proud of you. Good fucking job because I hope you see through this person. I feel like I see through this person like they daddy was a glass maker. Like, they try they they trying to be like they mature. They trying to act like they want this, but they're not willing or able to put the effort into it with the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. They're on some like legitimate ball hair hoe shit. And now they're acting like everything is okay, like they didn't do you wrong, or like, oh, like everything oh, we just need to give it time, Virgo. I'm holding my cheek like home alone. We just need we just need to give it time, Virgo. We just need to be patient with each other and work it out. Everything is going to be fine. Mm -mm. Just drink this drink. I feel like somebody's giving you a drink and they're trying to like get you to agree to give them a second chance under the influence of some bullshit. Oh, man. Virgo, what, what's my Virgo's advice, Guardian Angels? What's the advice for my Virgos? High Priestess in reverse. 
Do not ignore your intuition. Mm -mm, the sun card. High priestess. I, this is in reverse. I feel like your intuition is blocked because it's kind of sideways. So really, Virgo, I feel like your intuition is blocked or you're not following your intuition. Your guides are telling you in order to be happy, you need to follow your intuition. And if your intuition is telling you that this person is full of shit and that's the only signs that you've been getting, you need to stop ignoring it. Or I feel like maybe you're going to tell this person that they no longer make you happy. Maybe that's what you need to... I feel like you need, you're need. you hiding the truth about what makes you happy. You're not expressing it possibly. Or maybe a secret is blocking you from being happy. Maybe telling this person how you truly feel is blocking you from being able to fully move forward. There's something in your intuition that's blocked that you need to address. Or you're ignoring your intuition and your guides, your guardians, God, whoever you believe in is telling you right now, this is your advice. Do not ignore your intuition just because you think you know this person makes you happy, but I don't really think they do. I really see y'all meeting a new fire sign. Fool at the back of the deck, king of wands. This is actually a king. And yes, they may be a little selfish or self-centered at times, but I also feel like they're very passionate and powerful like I said somebody who's very passionate and powerful somebody who I feel is going to be very creative in your life or you guys are going to create something together that's what I get with this ace of wands because I feel like maybe this person doesn't know that you already met somebody else and they're coming at you with all this and you like uh -huh, no uh -huh. No, you already fucked that up over here. I built this wall. Two nines. Okay, so you got... You got two nines, two sevens, two fives, two fours. Yeah. You also have Cancer Pisces over here, Taurus or Libra. Pisces here, Aquarius here, Libra here, Cancer here. The tower is Jupiter, I think, which is Sag. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, the tower is Mars. Sorry. So, like... Aries or Scorpio. So Aries or Scorpio, you got Aries up here with the Emperor. Cancer, Libra, Cancer Pisces again, Leo, Aquarius. Pisces again. Pisces again, Cancer again, Taurus or Libra again. Wow. Yeah. So don't ignore your intuition. I feel like you're walking away and I feel like that's the right option for you. Hmm. Just take control of your life, Virgo. I really feel like that's what you're trying to do. Let me go ahead and use this new deck. 3333333. So I got this new deck. I'm going to figure out what you did, Virgo, with this deck. Maruka. I keep forgetting. Like, I, I don't know. I guess I hope I'm saying it right. But it's in the description box. So y'all know it's in the description. So we're going to see what you did, Virgo. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe for sure. Fuck with a bitch because I be fucking with y'all for real. I be giving y'all a lot more than some of these readers do for real. Um, So let me just be quiet because I ain't really judging nobody on that game. But a lot of these readers ain't really giving y'all a whole lot. And it's a few it's a few readers out here who be giving long readings or giving a lot of energy in their readings. And I feel like, you know... Y'all don't support us as much. Maybe because we don't do a lot of flamboyant shit, but I feel like I'd be pretty flamboyant just because that's my personality. But let me shut up. Sorry. Virgo, what did you do, Guardian Angels? What did my Virgos do in this situation? And I don't be mad about it, y'all. I just be really, like, analytical. I got Aquarius in my chart, so I'm just analyzing shit. So what did my Virgos do in this situation? Okay. Manipulation came out first. 
They put you down, labels, or judges you to attack your self-esteem. So you could be doing this to somebody. You could be man manipulating somebody by putting them down. Don't do that, okay? Or you did that. Bad habits. Jealousy. Their jealousy has become toxic. Careful. And don't be too trusting. So I feel like you got to a point where you were very jealous. Ooh, shit. Ain't that scary looking? I feel like because... Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't feel like you guys manipulated this person. I feel like they felt as if you were manipulating them because of the standards that you had. And they felt like they were beneath you because they couldn't bring as much to the table as you. And I also feel like you kind of rub that fact in their face. That's what I feel like this manipulation is. But I also feel like because this person possibly had you in entanglements in the past, possibly lied, cheated, betrayed you in some type of way, you definitely got jealous, okay, somehow, some way. Like, why do I always have to be the good person type of thing? Why do bad people get away with such bad things type of thing like that? Can I get one more card for what my Virgos did? Abuse. Wow. Damn. Physical abuse. Whether it's hitting, grabbing, or shoving, it's time to get away. Ooh, shit. Virgo, don't be putting your hands on no motherfucking body. Jesus Christ. Damn. Y'all was fighting like that because I see the fight. Damn. Don't put your hands on no motherfucking body. At the bottom, manipulation again. They twisted the facts by altering reality with lies or misstatements. In order to confuse you. So you might have said some things that weren't entirely true. To try to make this person feel bad. And at the back. Oh my god. Manipulation again. They diminished your problems. And play up their own. So maybe you made this person feel like their problems. Weren't as important as your problems. Could have been doing a little gaslighting. Now I'm going to use the motives and intentions oracle and the action answers oracle to see what you guys need to do to try to overcome this situation, Virgo. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. You got you to gotta cut the manipulation out. Whatever you did to manipulate this person, you know what it was. There was some type of manipulation, abuse, and bad traits going on here of jealousy. Okay. Okay. Guardian angels, what do my Virgos need to do to get through this situation? Okay. No. I feel like this saying, if you're going to take this person, some of y'all think about taking this motherfucker back. The answer is no. Do not do it. I, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not. Okay. Yeah. Check your mindset. Some things that you might have done. Triggering insecurities, damaging your confidence, creating doubt, lowering self-esteem. So I feel like you need to check your mindset because you're downplaying yourself or you're down talking yourself. Okay. Oh, gaslighting. Didn't I say gaslighting? Blame shifting, manipulation, emotional abuse, narcissistic tactics. So I hope this abuse card was not real abuse. I hope it was just like some type of emotional abuse. Maybe you made this person feel super guilty. You gaslighted them. I feel like because they may have done you dirty, Virgo. I'm going to be honest. I feel like this person did you dirty. And I feel like they did it on more than one occasion. But it's because you allowed it, Virgo. I'm going to just be real. I'm going to be real with you right now. It's because you allowed them to and you didn't check your motherfucking mindset. Because you allowed them to trigger your insecurities. And now, because you're on top, you're making this person feel like shit. That's not right. Need more, if more information is needed. I don't know why I just stopped right there. I was thinking about gaslighting. Some of you guys may need to make your feelings more prevalent here as well. I feel like they gaslighted you, but you allowed it. That's what I keep feeling. Oh yeah, spirit says yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, creating happiness is at the back. Delight, enrapture, blissful, enamor, ravish, and joy. 
So you need to create your own happiness here. You need to check your mind. Say you do not need to go back to this person. I feel like you need to get more information about maybe gaslighting or certain abuse tactics that narcissists use because maybe you weren't aware. And you need to work on your insecure. I, I mean, you, yes, you need to work on your insecurities and you need to work on what triggers your insecurities and find out what that is so that you can overcome it. Okay, so let's get your angel answer. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe, my loves. I love you guys. I'm like a grandma that gives tough love. I'm like a grandma that, you know, back in the day used to be a cook on, on, the, on the Navy ship or something who, I don't know, like a rough grandma that still curses and goes to play bingo and shit talks all her friends like that's the type of person i am it's not out of a it's not a place of hate or feeling as if you're lesser than it's because i love you and this shit got to change we got to change as a human race okay so what's the most important answer for my virgos guardian angels what is the most oh shit oh my god the fuckery be assertive see stand up for yourself there's a weakness here that you displayed and even if this person was doing these things to you, you allowed it. And, and I feel like you're about to allow it again. But you, I feel like you're starting to learn better or know better, Virgo. See, ask for help from others. I feel that as well. You're ready. I feel like you're ready to move on. That's what it's saying. All right, so Virgo, I hope this message has helped you. I love y'all so very much. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Stick to the positivity today and every day. Be blessed. And don't let none of these motherfuckers steal your joy. Bye, Virgo. See you next time.